Hello, welcome to my tech farm. Uh, I have another uh, tool from the Banggood review video, and this is the anemometer, which is the air wind speed meter, but also a thermometer. And I want to use it to test some part and hot and cooling fans. I'm preparing very big comparison. Here you can see the list of the brands. Uh, these are uh, 40 by 40 by 20 millimeter fans, and these are uh, 40 by 40 by 10 millimeters. But of course, they will be set, tested in a separate video. In this video, I just want to unbox it and test it with these fans. Uh, these are Ultra fans, works on 5 volts, and these are the Unon. Theoretically, they have the same voltage and same size, and I just want to see, I know, how uh, fast is the air which goes through that fan, if I can measure it with this tool. The specifications, theoretically, the range is between 0 and 30 meters per second, or 0 and uh, 90 kilometers per hour. Uh, I can see some inaccuracy here in the specifications, because the multiplier has to be 3.6 and not 3. Anyway, the accuracy is uh, plus minus 5%. About the temperature specification, it can work between minus 10 and plus uh, 45 degrees Celsius. Uh, let's see what's in the box. There is the anemometer. It works on CR2032 battery, which is not included. And we have this strap. I can remove this protection and then I can access to the battery holder. Now, fortunately, I don't have a 2032 battery. I have this 2025, 20, uh, which is actually thinner. But I will try to use this one and I will just place this piece of paper as a spacer. And it works. Now, unfortunately, uh, this user manual is in Chinese, so I have to figure out myself how it works. First, quickly analyze the structures. Uh, there is the fan, which uh, when rotates, measures the speed. Uh, there is the temperature sensor, and we have these two buttons, the mode and the set. And this is the display. Now, so the long press of the mode uh, will enable the anemometer. And uh, I already figured out, so long press of the mode button, we enter into settings. Now I can set the units, meter per second, kilometer per hour, foot per minutes, knots, miles per hour. And then I can set uh, to display the current uh, wind speed or the maximum. So let's say we put it somewhere and we, it want, to, uh, we want to record it to the maximum or the average. I, I will left it on meter per second on the current speed. So here we have the temperature and this is the speed in meters per second and this is the battery indicator. Okay, now let's test it with these two types of fans. I have several types of the cables, but uh, I will use this uh, USB version. Now, before I continue with the measuring of the air speed, I want to know what results should I expect. And uh, if in, in specifications, I can see the airflow is 55.5 uh, cubic meter per hour. Okay, so I have to convert somehow this in velocity. So I have to do some calculations. Now the cubic flow rate is equal area multiplied velocity. So from this the velocity is equal cubic flow rate divided by area. Now the area is actually some kind of ring. This is 80 millimeters, well actually a little bit smaller, so let's say 78 millimeter is the outer diameter. And the inner ring, inner uh, circle, inner diameter is approximately 30 millimeters. So the area is 0.78 square p divided by 4 and subtract 0.03 square p divided by 4 and this will be in square meters. 
and the flow rate I have to convert because it is 55.5 cubic meter divided by hours and I have to divide this by with the 3000 600 in this case I will get here cubic meters divided by seconds all right 0 0.00407 approximately 3.8 Okay, now I can measure. I will power it from this power bank. And this is the average value of last few seconds, so that's why I have to wait until it's stabilized. And around 3.7, 3.8 meters per second is stabilized. So this means these three things are correct together. My calculation, the animal meter and the nocturnal fan. And now let's test this uh, Unon fence, which uh, well, it doesn't arrive in some nice packaging. And uh, I have to check on internet if I can find some data because uh, about this I don't have any uh, flow rate data, unfortunately. Okay, I found some data about this fence. On internet, I found that the flow rate is uh, 19.2 cfm cubic foot per mi uh, minutes. And uh, I can convert it, uh, and it is 0 0.009 approximately cubic meter per second. So this is the uh, cubic uh, flow rate. And I have to divide this with the area. The area I already calculated in the previous uh, calculation. And this means if I divide these two numbers, I should get uh, approximately 2.2 meters per second velocity. Okay, let's measure them. I got approximately 2.5, 2.4 meters per second average velocity. This means one of these three elements is incorrect and I believe that's the specification of the fan. And one more important thing I want to mention, because as I mentioned I want to do some review and measuring about these fans, 40 by 40, but these are too small to get a proper flow rate everywhere in this area. Uh, this means I want to print some kind of pipe or adapter which will uh, this diameter convert to this diameter so all the airflow which goes to this fan will be catched by this animal meter and I hope with that I can get much more uh, accuracy. Because here it was easier if I place it here approximately this diameter uh, is completely uh, on this uh, cross section where the air flows. Now one more thing I want to do in this video and that's the checking of its accuracy and uh, I was thinking how can I do that uh, because uh, these fans are not so reliable measuring at least uh, then I figure out uh, I will try to measure it from my car first I will uh, change this to the kilometers per hour and then uh, I will put some camera in front of it and uh, put it outside of my car and I hope the speed of this will be similar like the speed of the car. So this is my test setup. I have here a GoPro camera which records the screen on animal meter and I will place it at least half meters uh, above the car because near the car surface the air speeds up but uh, if I raise it uh, at least half meters above it in that case uh, there the air moving is similar like the velocity of the moving car and the speed I will follow over my phone because the GPS measuring of the speed is much more accurate than the speed meter on the car because it always shows uh, 5 to 10 percent more and I will target uh, 40 kilometers per hour because approximately it is in the center of the measuring range. The speed stabilized. So the measured value was approximately 38 kilometers per hour, which is uh, exactly on the edge of 5% accuracy given in the specifications. 
Well, I don't know how reliable is it uh, for my measuring, but I think in comparison with the other, I will use the same unit, same tool, uh, and I will compare those fans uh, one after each other. In that case, at least I can compare those values. I hope you find this video a little bit useful. Uh, I will place an affiliate link down in the description to this product if you want to uh, buy it from the Banggood. Thank you for watching and I hope you will follow me to my next video too. Bye.